I faced death more than once. I got stabbed 19 times. I've been shot at. I've been robbed at gunpoint. I came to a point that I had a life change. I, I needed to go back. I needed to grow. I needed to find a way to put my past in my past and keep moving forward. And I, wanted, I was looking for peace and Barbara gave me that peace. I wasn't judged being a barber. It accepted me, it accepted me for who I am. The craft of barbering allowed me to be myself. My name is Carlos Pena. Barbering, it offered me a platform so I could be myself and overcome my past. I made a lot of wrong decisions. I was hanging around with the wrong crowd. I got expelled from high school when I was 17 years old. I was just running reckless. I wasn't thinking about going to college. I wasn't thinking about the future. I was living for the moment. It put me in a place of my life where it was at a standstill. And I was just destroying myself and destroying my family causing pain and misery towards my family. Like, it wasn't a good feeling. I wasn't feeling good. It was, I was just falling more into depression. And then at the same time when I was falling more into depression, I fell into the system. I, start, I, got, a, I got incarcerated. I was in and out incarceration. I was, I was still living the lifestyle. I was still living with no purpose, living with no meaning. So at this one time I was incarcerated, I, I, had, I had like a, a breakthrough of my own because I was meditating. I was locked down in my room for 23 hours, one hour out. So I noticed an older man that he could have been my grandfather. He could have been my father or my uncle. I remember it like it was yesterday. And as I was looking at him, I, I see him so at ease, like he's going down to prison, like it's nothing, like it's not the first time he went to prison. And it was just so normal to him. And I was picturing myself in his shoes, like but at that moment, I was like, either I continue living this lifestyle and become that old man, or I'm a follow my dreams to be successful and bring peace and harmony towards my family instead of hurting them and taking away from them i want to rebuild the bridges that i burnt it made me value what i have and the purpose that i need to follow my dreams i always had a passion for barbering that i never spoke of i never really didn't even believe in myself to even become a barber. Once I got released from being incarcerated, my mother was waiting for me right across the street from the gate. I had a son at the time and my son wasn't there because I didn't want him to see me there. But at that moment, when I saw my mom crying, hugging me, I was like, okay, let me go back to school. I, I face, embarrassment, I got fired. Um, there was barbers making fun of me. So while I was going through barbering school, my best friend, God rest his soul, got murdered. And that pushed me to a depression. Even when I was going through all that adversity, when I didn't know how to cut hair, uh, I, I'm over here going to barbering school. I'm facing all these demons and all this adversity that's built up to not help me succeed, but with patience, with hard work and dedication, with my family being there for me. I got to graduate from barbering school. I made it through. I learned how to cut hair. 
It took me eight years to get to the where I'm at right now. It's a fulfilling feeling where I'm at right now. I'm happy, I'm humble. I'm not perfect, but I try every day to be a better man than I was before. A lot of positive people have been falling into my life. I met my girlfriend. She kind of saved my life also, cause yes, I succeeded to get to where I'm at. What she did, she shifted my mindset when it comes to the people I kept around me. I stopped hanging out. I focused on just being more true to myself and cutting more negativity out of my life. With that same mindset that I come from, Barbara changed it from a negative point of view to a positive. So I'm not, it made me be strong enough to say that I'm never going back. I'm never going to live a life that I lived before. And I'm very talented. All I gotta do is believe in myself and keep the positive people around me that's gonna push me to become a better person. Barbering gave me that. Whatever could be going on in the street, in the world, the world keep going by. Once I'm, I have a clipper in my hand and I'm cutting somebody, I'm interacting with somebody, I'm bringing the better out of them, I'm making them feel better out of themselves. I'm sitting here being your therapist, I'm your friend, I'm your stylist. It just brings me life. So now I'm here, I work at Clippers 2, Elizabeth, New Jersey. I work with Danny, everybody know him as a sex addict. He never gave up on me, and I'm always gonna be thankful for that. I have Dante, I have my mother, I have my family. I have a support system that the work I'm gonna put in is guaranteed to succeed. I believe in myself so much that God has put me and has saved me for myself and gave me a talent so I could use my testimony to save others from committing the mistakes I have. I want to be a, a figure that I made it through all the adversity, I made it through a lot of people talking ne negatively about me, saying I'm not gonna be nothing, basically. So here I am, a barber, not settling just for being a regular barber. I wanna become an entrepreneur. I wanna become a business owner. Barbering is the place that gave me the time and the platform for I could expand who I am as a man. And this craft, I'm so grateful for it that I just love barbering. I don't know how to say it. it I can't say it more clear.